Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asian Newsline and heard the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 8th of May. CBI arrests two more people in connection with Russia-Ukraine human trafficking case. India rebukes Canada over Khalistani rally, says civilized society should not glorify violence. And Taliban rejects Pakistan's claim that Afghan bomber was involved in attack on Chinese engineers. And now for all the details. The Central Bureau of Investigation on Tuesday arrested two more individuals for forcing Indian citizens to join the Russian army under the pretext of promising them job opportunities, making the total people arrested up to four. The probe agency said that the investigation is underway against the two accused, Arun and Yesudas Jr. alias Priyan, who were arrested in Kerala. The other two alleged recruiters were arrested on April 24 from Mumbai and Tamil Nadu respectively. The agency also highlighted the key role of Ben Sam, who was working as a translator in Russia in the recruitment process. The CBI also found that a single agency based in Delhi sent as many as 180 people to Russia, mostly on student visas. Several Indians in the last few months claimed they were forced to join the Russian army with the promise of fake jobs. And Amid escalating tensions between India and Canada, New Delhi on Tuesday expressed a strong condemnation regarding the float used in the Nagar Kirtan procession in Ontario and said the celebration and glorification of violence should not be accepted in the civilized society. In a sharp worded statement, India's foreign ministry spokesperson Randhir Jaiswal said India remains concerned about the safety and security of its diplomatic representatives in Canada and other democratic countries should not allow intimidation by radical elements in the name of freedom of expression. We again call upon the government of Canada to stop providing criminal and sanctionist elements a safe haven and political space in Canada, the statement added. The sharp rebuke from New Delhi came in response to a viral video in which Khalistani supporters were seen chanting anti-India slogans during an annual Nagar Kirtan parade from Malton to Restail. Relations between Ottawa and New Delhi have turned sore since last year after Canadian PM Justin Trudeau accused the Indian government was behind the killing of India-designated Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijjar. Canadian police recently arrested three accused in Nijjar's killing but it could not establish any link with India. However, Canadian Foreign Minister Melanie Jolie has said Ottawa continues to stand by the allegations made by Prime Minister Trudeau. Moving on, the Taliban on Wednesday rejected Pakistan's allegation that Afghans were involved in an attack on Chinese engineers as ties between the neighboring nations have soared amidst rising insecurity. Pakistan on Tuesday alleged the suicide bomb attack in March that killed five Chinese nationals in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa was planned in Afghanistan, with the bomber also being an Afghan national. Taliban's defense ministry said blaming Afghanistan for such incidents is a failed attempt by Islamabad to divert attention from the truth of the matter. The killing of Chinese citizens in an area of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa that is under tight security cover by the Pakistan Army shows the weakness of the Pakistani security agencies, a ministry spokesperson said. Relations between Pakistan and Afghanistan have deteriorated in recent months. Islamabad says Kabul is not doing enough to tackle militant groups targeting Pakistan and in March, Pakistan carried out airstrikes targeting militants on Afghan territory. Meanwhile, representatives of local bodies in POJK recently held a demonstration in Muzaffarabad raising concern over zero development funds and corruption. A report. Scores of representatives of union councils or municipalities in Pakistan occupied Jammu and Kashmir held a protest recently outside the press club in Muzaffarabad to demand funds to carry out their activities. They lamented they were elected by the public so that they can resolve their problems related to electricity, water, drainage and roads. But they are unable to do so due to no real power and no funding by the Pakistan government. 
कभी आप एक आपके खिलाफ आप हुकूमत के खिलाफ एक महकमा रोडों पे होता है कभी दूसरा महकमा होता है आप तो गुड गवर्नेंस के दावे करते हैं कि किसी महकमे में किसी एक महकमे में भी तो हमें आप गुड गवर्नेंस दिखा देना ये जो बल्दियाती सबसे बड़ा अदारा है तीन अरब रुपया हमारा फंड है बल्दियाती फंड है बल्दियाती या तरक्याती फंड है कह रहा हूँ कहा खाक कह रहे हर महकमे में हर जगह करप्शन है हर जगह रोला पड़ा हुआ है हम बल्दियाती में हम आपसे ये फील करते हैं कि हमारा जो हक है हम आपसे भीख नहीं मांग रहे लोकल इन पी ओ जे के हैव लॉन्ग एक आर रूल बाई स्टूज अथॉरिटीज हु ओनली हेल्प इस्लामाबाद फिल इट्स ट्रेजरीज थ्रू इकोनॉमिक डेप्रडेशन बट देयर इशूज डू नॉट मैटर and the taliban responding to the final resolution of the 15th summit of the organization of islamic cooperation in gambia has stated that the measures concerning afghanistan in the resolution have already been enacted by the interim government representatives from over 50 islamic countries participated in the two day summit in gambia taliban spokesman zabihullah mujahid said that the participation of the islamic emirate marks the commencement of the interim government's interactions with islamic countries he described it as an achievement the oic also emphasized providing educational rights for girls and employment for women in afghanistan since kabul fell to taliban in 2021 the regime has imposed heavy restrictions on women by banning them from work and even studies after 6th grade No country has formally recognized Taliban's regime in Afghanistan over these issues. Moving on. The Janata Samajwadi Party Nepal, one of the coalition partners in PM Pushpa Kamal Dehel led government, has split after a majority of its lawmakers applied for a new party at the election commission following internal discontent. A faction led by the party's federal council chair Ashok Rai was formally registered as a new party on Monday local media reported Rai led faction claimed they had no revolt as party chair Upendra Yadav the country's deputy prime minister was running the party in an autocratic way There were speculations that Yadav was trying to ally with the opposition parties to topple the Dehel led government Reports suggest that despite the split the ruling coalition will manage to maintain a narrow majority in the parliament. Sri Lanka has extended the free visa facility for visitors from India and six other nations a move aimed to boost tourism and help revive its crisis hit economy. Tourists from India, China, Russia, Japan, Thailand, Indonesia and Malaysia will continue to have free visas a statement by the president office said this week started under a pilot program by lankan government in october 2023 the scheme had a deadline of 6 months before it got renewed by colombo the country of 22 million people famed for its beaches ancient temples and aromatic tea saw its tourism industry pummeled first by the covid-19 pandemic and then by a severe financial crisis last year that saw mass scale protests and shortages of essential such as fuel With the tourism industry seeing a turn around in 2023, Sri Lanka aims to welcome about 2.2 million tourists by December in its efforts to recover from the worst financial crisis in decades. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night and take care. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.